name is Lisa DiFazio. I'm a registered dietitian with a master's in nutritional science. And today we're gonna to be making a smoothie. So today's ingredients will include frozen strawberries, blueberry, and banana. So let's get started. First off, of course, you're going to need a blender and have all of your ingredients out. What's a, a neat little tip to do with smoothies is that use frozen fruit. And this way it's gonna make your smoothie nice and slushy and you're not gonna to have to use as much ice. So you always wanna put the liquid in first. This smoothie is gonna serve about one person. You can uh, increase the amount if you wanna make some extra for friends. I usually use um, soy milk or almond milk. You can use regular milk or low fat milk depending on who you're making the smoothie for. So you're gonna pour in, you know, maybe about a half cup of liquid. And again, almond milk is not gonna have the lactose for those people that are lactose intolerant, but you're still gonna get some of the protein. And then we're gonna add yogurt. Now yogurt, of course, is gonna add some extra protein and of course calcium. But what's nice about yogurt, it's a really neat way to make the smoothies more creamy without all the fat. So I like to just get the individual portions because you just dump it in and you're good to go. You can also grab a spoon and get all that goodness out. Smoothies are really nice for a quick lunch or breakfast, and uh, they just won't weigh you down. So I oftentimes have a smoothie for breakfast. Then we're gonna throw in our fruit. It's also nice about frozen fruit is, is that it's cheap and everybody's looking for a bargain these days. So a bag like this of frozen strawberries will cost about three bucks. Keep it in the freezer and it never spoils. That's the thing that I hate about fresh fruit is that sometimes you buy it and by the time you get to eat it, it's already spoiled. So we're gonna dump in about five or six strawberries and blueberries. So blueberries are a super fruit. And what's nice about blueberries is there are tons of antioxidants, of vitamin C, potassium. It's gonna make this smoothie a really beautiful color as well. So frozen blueberries. Again, I got all of these at a major market or some of the major uh, super stores. Um, and right now we're not gonna use ice because let's see how slushy it is with the frozen fruit. Bananas. The majority of smoothies have bananas because, again, it adds a really nice smoothness and creaminess and uh, adds really good flavor to smoothies. So one good sized banana, again, tons of potassium. Bananas are always good for you, just kind of break it up. This is also really neat to have your kids help you make it because uh, it's easy to make. And that's it, pretty straightforward, throw the top on. And now we are going to mix. So you can put it on a uh, mix in the beginning. And here we go. And that's just about it. About 30, 40 seconds, depending on the consistency that you'd like. And let's check it out. Look at that beautiful color. We've got the purples going on, the blues, and you wanna grab a glass to pour that into. Delicious. So of course, we gotta see how it tastes. Mmm, wow. I used vanilla yogurt. You got the vanilla and the banana, the creaminess, the blueberries, this is so healthy. And you actually got all your fruit for the day right there so you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day. So there you have it, your blueberry strawberry banana smoothie. For more recipes and diet ideas, check out my website, lisadefazio.com. As always, I will see you guys next time.